Hello guys, welcome back to YLOG 3rd grade worksheet lesson 3. Today we will be comparing numbers by using the symbols greater than, less than, or equal to. For the first question we have 462,389 blank 739,128. So, as we can see, they both have 6 digits. So then we'll have to look at the first number to see which one's greater. And we know that 7 is greater than 4. So the seven will be greater than four four hundred sixty-two thousand three hundred eighty-nine. For the second question, it says one hundred forty-nine thousand one hundred seventy-seven blank one hundred forty-nine thousand fifty-three. So we know they both have six digits. So we'll have to look at the first digit, the first yeah, the first digit of the number, and then they both have a one. So we move on to the next digit. The next one is a four. And the other one is also a 4, so we just have to keep going down the line. The next one's 9, and the next one's also 9 for the other number, so we just have to keep going. Next one's 1, but the next one is 0 on this number. And since 1 is greater than 0, the first number will be greater than the second number. Now we'll move on to the next question. Where we have to do the same thing, but there's blocks this time. You know... We know that these huge blocks, there's two of them, but since this one only has one, and we also have four of these skinny blocks, and they this one only has one, so we obviously know that this side is greater than the other side. We'll go. We'll do one. Of, we'll do no, no, question number six right here. We'll have to do addition. So it's four hundred plus. 80 which equal which you drop down to 0 and then sit and then drop down to 8 drop down to 4 so be 480 and then we're going to do the second number which is 380 plus 100 drop down to 0 drop down to 8 3 plus 1 equals 4 so this will equal 480 and since 480 and 480 are equal to each other we'll put an equal sign right here now define whether the number is odd or even in order to do this we have to look at the last number and see which if it's odd or even and then the even numbers are 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 etc just like that odd numbers are 1 3 7 9 11 so we'll, we'll look at number one first and since we know the last num last digit of the number is a three we know that that is odd we we'll go to number seven now. And we know that the last digit number that that the last digit of the number is six, which means this this number is even. We'll do one last one of these. We'll do the number four. We can see that the last digit of that number is a five, which means this number is odd. We'll be moving on to the next 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 page which says use the standard form to write each number first we'll do number one and we basically want to write this in a word form so since there's four digits it means it's in the thousands and since we have five of them it will be five thousands and then since this has three numbers which means it's in the hundreds and since the first number is a three that means we have three hundreds. And then for the last one, since it's just one digit, so it will be the ones. And since we have eight, it will be eight ones. We'll do the last one. For the last one of these, we'll do number nine. It says 645. Basically, I have to change this to number. And since we know it's a, it's a hundred, which means there's three digits. So the first one says 6, so since it's 600, so we'll put a 6. And then the second digit is a 40, so we'll put a 4. The last one is a 5, so we'll put 5. So the answer to the question will be 645. We'll now go on to the last page, which is word problems. We'll start off with number 1. Matthew lives in a town with a population of 14,422. Last year, there were 3,150 fewer people living in the town. How many people lived in the town last year? In order to do this, we have to use subtraction. 
So first we start off with 14,422 minus 3,150. We have 2 minus 0, which is 2, 2 minus 5. But since the 5 is greater than 2, we're going to have to use the next next number, change that into 3, change the 2 into 12. 12 minus 5 will be 7. 3 minus 1 is 2. 4 minus 3 is 1. And since the 1 has nothing to subtract with, just drop it down. So the answer will be 11,272. We'll do la one last one of these questions. We'll do, we'll do number 3. So we know that Brayden bought two cakes and eight cookies, and Anna bought six cakes and five cookies, and is asking who bought more food. So first we start off with Brayden. Since he bought two cakes and eight cookies, you just gotta add them up, and two plus eight equals 10. And for Anna, we know she bought six cakes and five cookies which would be 6 plus 5, which equals 11. And then since we know that 11 is greater than 10, Anna bought more food, so the answer to this question would be Anna.